The Cinderella of Ferndale by Simon Armitage. It was all about shoes. In that small town, there was hardly a foot she hadn't dressed or clamped and sized in the Brannock device, and barely a toe that hadn't blenched at the force of her thumb as she prodded and pressed. Not known for her lightness of touch, riding home one night at the back of the bus, she bungled a big tin of Dulloch's gloss, and a lurid delta of scarlet sludge had fanned as far as the driver's heels to be walked by passengers onto the street. Fifty years later... Those footprints still stand, on pavements and curbs, over zebra crossings, and under the bridge, round the boating lake, across the surgery's waiting room floor, through the chapel gates, footprints in fading red, the same shade as her own front door, through which no Prince of Wales has ever stepped.